the main thing is that farmers need to look for with locusts is the density of the locusts. Um, so anything with more than you know 10 a square metre of flying adults, um, yeah, we need to, to know about, and they are the, certainly the, the densities that you know you should be really looking to control. The other thing that really look out for at the moment is um, egg laying. So certainly these locusts that are flying about at the moment, there's a certain percentage of them with eggs in them at the moment. Um, a lot of them have still got fat in them and so they've still got eggs to develop. So, you know, look for where they la are laying. Um, yeah, and they will hatch out again this year. Um, and, you know, when they do hatch out, yeah, go in and spray them as, as nips again. So, yeah, that's the sort of things you really need to look for. Yeah, grab a locust, pull him apart, have a look to see if he's got any eggs in him and, and, and let us know and we'll come out and have a look as much quickly as we possibly can as well. Just the um, amount of damage that they're causing to pastures um, at the moment um, is, is huge. You know, we're getting uh, reports of landholders having to, you know, cut their stock numbers back because they're running out of feed because the locusts have gone through and eaten them. And also the major concern with the locusts just at the moment is coming into the sowing window. Um, yeah, the damage that they could do to, you know, crops as they emerge. Uh, we're just at um, Copperco just at the moment, just sort of oh, 20, 30 k's north of Dubbo. Um, the more reports that we get, it gives us a better case for getting more resources brought in to, to assist farmers. So that's really important, particularly like heavy density swarms. So if you've got, um, you know, 50 a square metre um, on the ground um, roosting overnight, um, that's the sort of stuff that we really need to know about. Um, and we need to know how big those areas are. Um, so the more reports of that sort of stuff that we're getting, uh, even low, uh, medium density swarms, you know, more than 10 a square metre, it, um, we need to know about those as well so we can justify bringing in more help, um, you know, to help um, farmers as the situation develops. Um, the other thing that farmers should be doing right now is like where these swarms are roosting overnight, um, if they can get in and spray them first thing in the morning while it's still fairly cool before they get too warm and start flying again, you can really make a hole in them. So we need farmers getting out there and chipping away at these swarms as they move about the district as much as possible. So if everybody's doing a, a bit, um, we can, you know, just by doing that can make a big difference to the level of um, swarms in the area. Just any landholder that is interested in uh, spraying um, swarms as they're roosting overnight who don't, doesn't have the gear um, to do it, um, we do have misters available in the district being used at the moment and we're just shuffling them around from property to property um, to, for landholders to use um, to spray swarms um, early in the morning before they sort of get going so you know if you need it um, sing out yes this is sort of the bottom extent of where the locusts are at the moment um, so where they originated from um, we had a swarm move into the the um, coli curb and armor tree area and, and lay there and this is a result of um, what's hatched out there and and, and um, developed um, so those locusts now are sort of moving south um, back towards Dubbo um, from that area north of Gilgandra and they've also yeah made it almost to the Mandurin at the moment as well so they're really spreading they, these swarms now. The way the situation is um, you know we'll come out and when she reported your locust um, and, and inspect and see what's going on um, and, and issue you with whatever chemical that, that's needed at that point in time so um, yeah at the moment we're getting around to everybody generally within a day, um, certainly no more than two days before we get to people before after they've reported. Just with the amount of swarms at the moment, you know, we should be getting a lot more reports than what we are at the moment. So we really need landholders to get out there report to us and, um, and let us know what they've got. It's getting bigger and bigger as we speak. Um, yeah, you know, it is still considered, you know, a localised outbreak. So, you know, at the moment it's sort of really contained with that in that, you know, you know, Gilgandra district, um, sort of north and south and east and west of it. So um, that's the extent it is at the moment. But if these lot lay uh, again, um, and they'll lay over a lot bigger area than what they did, you know, prior to Christmas. So, um, you know, we've got another hatching to come yet. It could really get out of hand and um, do a lot of damage to newly coming up crops, emerging crops. We had the chemical tested last year um, just to see how effective it was, um, make sure it was still okay to use, and yeah, it was fine. The date on the side of the drum is the date of manufacture. Um, it's not an expiry date, um, so yeah, that's the date of manufacture. If you think that you're not getting a result from your chemical, let us know, and yeah, we'll, we'll um, check that batch out. 
you just got to give it a bit of time um, and it, it will vary on sort of the application rate like it can go up to you know up to a day later before they sort of die so don't expect that instant kill but um, yeah um, you, sh you certainly should get the results with the chemical we've got at the moment. Yeah, so when we um, issue chemical, we just check to make sure that landholders have um, got their AQF3 level chemical users certification, so your chemical users card. Um, so anybody applying to chemical needs to have that card to apply it. Everywhere we've been where people have reported, you know, they've certainly had enough locus um, for us to, to meet the, the, I suppose, the guidelines for us to issue. So, yeah, there's been no issues with um, giving uh, locus chemical out. Look, our role is really to issue chemical out to landholders, you know, to control nymphs while they're on the ground. Um, so that's our primary purpose. Um, we do play a supportive role to the Department of Primary Industries if they you know, decide to um, conduct aerial control in an area, um, but that's a DP Department of Primary Industries type call. Um, so we assist them in that when they're carrying out those operations.